Welcome to another one of our episodes, Kitty Talk. Today we asked the kids, what's an iconostasis? Most kids weren't really sure what that is. So come with us and see what they have to say about that. What's an iconostasis? It's like a song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's an iconostasis? No. Try to pick it up. I think it's the Holy Spirit. Okay, good. <laughs> Do you know what's an icon of sassy? No. Try to guess? God? Can you say icon of sassy? Icon of sassy? What does that mean? I don't know. Try to guess? that comes down from Jesus Christ. Iconostasis, do you know what that is? No. Nope. Say Iconostasis. Iconostasis. What's that? What's an Iconostasis? Can you say that? Iconostasis? Say Iconostasis. I cannot say. What does that mean? Um. Can you say I can stand you? I can uh, stand you. What does that mean? I don't know. Can you try to guess? Jesus and Saint Mary. Can you say I can stand? You got? Can you give me a hint? What's an icon of Stasis? Can you say I can Stasis? I can Stasis. What What does that mean? Can you say Iconostasis? Iconostasis. What does that mean? It's like a shape. Okay, so those were some good answers, but I'm going to tell you guys what an Iconostasis is. An iconostasis is actually another Greek word. It means, it comes from iacon and stasis, which means icon bearer. So this thing behind me, as you can see, the big wooden um, iconostasis behind me is the icon bearer because it carries the different icons. Also, the iconostasis is a separation or a partition that's usually made out of wood that separates the altar from the rest of the church. Now, the iconostasis, as you can see, is decorated with a lot of different crosses and grapes and different vines. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, why are there grapes and vines on the iconostasis? Now, the reason that a lot of people have meditated and said is that Jesus Christ is the vine of love. He is the one that sacrificed and gave his body and his blood so that we can be saved and we can come closer to him. People say, and we all believe, that the altar and the gates to the altar, which is the royal gate that's behind me, is the gate to heaven. Now, Jesus gave himself as a sacrifice on the altar so that we could have life. So Jesus Christ gave his body and his blood for us. 
and we need to be connected to the vine, the true vine, so that we could have li life. So, the iconostasis is the wooden partition that separates the altar from the rest of the church and carries the icons. And Jesus Christ offered himself for our lives and for us on the altar, and this is to show us the gate of heaven. There's also two gates, one to the right and one to the left of the iconostasis. Those are also called the north and the south gates of the, of the church, and they're usually where we go to take communion. Thank you for joining us for this episode, and we hope that you learned something new in your, about your church today. Have a great day, and come again to watch us on Kitty Talk. Music